Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to turn your regular cameras into smart cameras using Invis. Whether you're working with predefined AI tasks or your custom AI models, Invis makes it simple. Let's dive in and see how it works. First, what is Invis? Invis is an intelligent vision system that connects to your camera streams, allowing you to define custom AI applications through an easy-to-use graphical interface. It also streamlines integration with third-party systems through ANS APIs. The best part? Invis is an open platform, so it's continuously evolving with new features, making it perfect for developers looking to expand their applications. Invis consists of two parts. Invis Server. This runs as a Windows service, handling all the functions and processing all the AI tasks. Invis Client. This is your interface to connect and interact with the Invis server. Whether you're setting up tasks or monitoring camera streams, the client makes it easy to manage everything. Now you can install the Invis server either on the ANS AI box or your hardware, depending on your performance needs. The Invis client can be installed on the same device as the server or on a separate device that connects through the network. Let's go ahead and launch the Invis client. First, the client will ask to connect to an Invis server. If you're using the same device, select localhost. Otherwise, you can search for servers on your network or manually enter the server's IP address. Once connected, you'll be greeted by the Invis server interface. Let's start with Invis predefined AI tasks. These are the main pages for using predefined AI tasks. The AI tasks page lets you create and manage over 20 AI tasks that Invis already has built in, focusing on safety, people, and vehicle monitoring. The event log page shows the history of all the events detected by your tasks. The summary page gives you an overview of your event statistics in easy-to-read charts. The camera page is where you add your camera streams. To begin, let's add a camera. And this supports multiple types of camera streams, including RTSP, RTMP, USB cameras, and even video files. And this also supports auto-scan OMVIF-enabled cameras. Simply select your camera type and follow the user interface to add your cameras. Once your camera is connected, go to the AI Tasks page and click Add Task. Give your task a name, choose your camera, and select a predefined task like Person Intrusion Detection. Each task has its own configuration options. For the person intrusion task, you can create a custom schedule to activate the task. Choose how you want to receive alerts, email, SMS, or push notifications. Set a duration to only detect objects that stay for a specific amount of time. Define a region of interest for more targeted detection. Once you've configured the task, click Save, and you're good to go. All of your AI tasks are listed on the AI Tasks page, and you can easily edit or remove them as needed. Let's start the AI task. You can press Live View to watch it in action. You'll see real-time visualizations with bounding boxes showing detected objects. By pressing the History button, you can keep track of all events on the event log page, including images, object details, and time, and you can filter them by time or search for specific keywords. On the summary page, you can see the event summary chart for each task and also filter them by time. In addition, Envis also comes with a web app and mobile app designed to create and manage predefined AI tasks with a similar workflow to Envis Client. That's how you can create and utilize predefined AI tasks for your projects. Next, we will walk through how to use Invis to create a custom AI task 
and introduce you to all of Invis extension and integration capabilities. By going to Settings and enabling Advanced View, this will unlock extra pages related to customization. Start by going to the Model Management page, where you can access Invis built-in models or upload your custom models. Next, the AI Task Group Management page is where you can create custom AI tasks. The Dashboard page will list all created AI tasks, both custom and predefined ones. And the Network Visualization page will visualize all the AI tasks in the server network. Now let's go to the Model page and upload a new model. The model you can upload includes ANS trained models or third-party models in ANS supported formats. Simply browse to the model location, select for example the PCB inspection model, and press upload to the server. Now, you just need to wait for the model to complete optimization before using it. After uploading the camera and the model, go to the AI task group and press add server AI task group. Each custom task group starts with a name and you'll choose which cameras and models to use. With the selected cameras and models, it's time to create custom AI tasks from them. Press Add to begin. First, you need a task name and choose the camera for the task. Then it's time to create rules. Rules define the conditions for detecting objects. With rules, you can choose which object you want to detect and how you want to detect them. Press Add and choose your rule type. Each rule type comes with additional parameters for further adjustment. For example, with the presence rule, you can select the region of interest as a rectangle shape or polygon shape. Specify the location of the object in relation to the position of the ROI. And choose when the object will be detected. After that, choose the object you wish to monitor from the previously added model. Press Save to submit the task. You can also create additional rules and join them if your task requires more complexity. The submitted task will be listed on the dashboard page. Press Start to activate it. Similar to the predefined AI task, you can access the live view and event log to see AI task results. And that's how you can create custom AI tasks with any models and Invis rules. Finally, let's talk about Invis's powerful extension and integration features. First, by going to the Event Action tab, Invis provides you with many API options to trigger third-party systems when events are detected, such as the HTTP trigger to send events over the internet, the NX Witness trigger to communicate with the NX Witness VMS server, the database trigger to send events to an external database. The application trigger to interact with external applications. The MQTT trigger to communicate with IoT devices. And more will be updated in future Invis versions. The second extension feature is AI Task Post Processing. With post processing, you can further fine tune your output through extra filtering options such as choosing the object size dimension, location, and more. The post-processing functions can be customized and installed as a plugin for Invis. The third extension feature is the Invis Custom function. This is a GitHub library offers a structured framework for designing custom analytic functions, models, or pipelines to seamlessly integrate and execute within the Invis server environment, utilizing OpenCV. With this template, Developers can quickly design their custom features that haven't been implemented in Invis yet and shorten their project execution time with minimum delay. The last extension is the Invis Server API, which allows you to create a custom dashboard for your Invis application. That's a wrap for this tutorial. We've covered everything from setting up predefined AI tasks to creating custom ones, and even explored how to extend Invis with third-party integrations. Now it's your turn to explore Invis and take your smart camera projects to the next level. Stay tuned for more tutorials and happy developing!